Hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan. Welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, my name is Marky Mark. I guess I should actually be Mark, huh? Uh, it doesn't really... Where we're go going, I don't know that any disguise is going to save us. <laughs> in this episode, I think we're going to go fight Raphael. We have a, uh, a new friend in the band, uh, Hope, from the House of Hope. Uh, here in Avernus. Uh, and we just saved Hope from uh, using the Orphic Hammer, uh, which Karlak is wielding right now. Uh, and it's time to go upstairs and make, uh, and meet our maker or, uh, or something. Oh, I'm excited for this. The Hellish Sphere still here. I mean, we have to go towards these portals, right? In order to get out. Wait, what just happened? My computer is lagging a little bit, so I was trying to, f oh, shit. Okay, well, if you're here, then, <laughs> oh, these things just roll back and forth. I see, okay, I got it. Where's Raphael? Come out and fight me, you coward. I thought we were gonna go fight. Hmm. Okay. This is not how I saw this fight going. My word. Uh, I have three rage charges left, yeah? Let's just go Maybe. for it. Let's have, Car Let's have Carlac go crazy. All right, well. Rather than fight Raphael, we're gonna fight a sphere. Uh, I should probably have that toggled on because I think extra damage. I don't know what the AC is for this sphere. 16, honestly? It's a rock. 16 AC? I mean, I, I don't know. You could make your arguments. Whatever. Maybe you have to hit it in a really specific spot in order to, to hurt it. Well. Um. Could do one of those. Do one of those. And then I guess we'll just stay here because the big problem with the hellish sphere, in case you didn't remember, is that enemies and objects within three meters of the sphere at the end of their turn take a bunch of damage. Uh, and they take half if not. So um, we should really probably try and have Karlak move away, but I don't think she's going to be able to. Uh, saved against Sacred Flame. And also, it is resistant to radiant damage. So, I shouldn't have picked that. But it's immune to fire, so. Mistra Rill. Hmm. Well. What should I do here? Little magic missile? What are you, uh. Honestly, I'm gonna use like a level 4 magic missile because it has no resistance to force damage. So Gale might be one of the most important people for doing damage here. Oh, Hope, we control you. Okay. Uh, well. Hope banishes one of the unwelcome guests from her house forever. Oh shit, it takes a level five health slot. <laughs> I didn't read that very closely at all, did I? Spell slot and uh, it didn't work uh, for some reason. It's a banish. It's just basically the banish spell. Hmm. The wisdom save and apparently this thing passed. It says I hit, it says I cast the spell. All right, let's do some damage here. Fuck yes. Let's do some damage here. We rolled a critical. Oh, I just misclicked. Shit. There, I just used my executioner, I'm pretty sure. Oh, that's a little bit of a bummer. I was going to save that for Raphael, but. Oh, well. You missed. 
Uh, let's have Gale do a high level, like a, like a third level. That'll do it. Okay. Man, I'm upset with myself for uh, What's the story? accidentally using that executioner. That was rough. Okay, let's uh, let's heal Karlak up and. What is this music? I know we were all getting excited for that uh, for that fight, right? And then uh, we didn't have it because for, for the you know for the uh, where are our small potions at? Are we out of them? Oh dang, we're out of them. For the Raphael fight. Uh, Hope, do you want to chat? What's the uh, where should I see Raphael? You know time for chitter chatter. It's tempting to delay the inevitable. This is it. The big showdown, the final act, the glorious run that comes to us all. There is also the slim <laughs> possibility that we win. There is also the slim possibility. I, I don't know, but I like imagining uh, her voice is a little different. Oh, I guess we're going back to the foyer. I understand. Never wanted the easy path. I understand. Now I know where we're going. Hopefully we don't see the little uh, rolling sphere here. We're going here. And this is where those shadows, the uh, the uh, soul statues were. He's almost home now, closer than a kiss. There are three things you need to His know about Raphael. His favorite color is blood. And he probably knows a thousand ways to kill us. <laughs> this is going to hurt. I have to say, before we walk in here, in terms of my personal, uh, like the the things that had a personal effect on me, I think Raphael's appearance uh, suddenly and out of nowhere, the first time, is maybe my favorite, like, single character entrance in the game. Uh, I don't know. So to get to this point where uh, where we're about to go through, uh, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I'm going to take a save to think that we might fight Raphael and we might win. It's pretty dope. Don't waste this Pretty time. cool. Let's think how far we've come. Oh look, everything's fine. We can leave. Can we just go. Oh. for a moment and the air becomes thicker the master of the house is coming you hi there the gorilla There are many things in your world that I loathe. Litters of kittens, chattering children, the noise, and the chaos of it all. Oh my god. In my world, in my house, there is order, <laughs> and there is decorum. You came here uninvited, and you stole from me. In doing so, you brought the chaos of your world into mine. I will not abide it. Oh man, I got chills. I got chills. Um, did we ap appeal to uh, Carilla? This is your chance to be free. Help me take him down. You think I'm on your side? The only reason you're here is because Raphael allowed you to be. I permitted you the freedom to decide your own fate. You could have been smart, selfless, saved the world. Instead, you came here and risked everything. It's the fatal flaw of mortal kind. Take away their free will and they call you a tyrant. Allow them to indulge it and they become tyrants. 
heroes if you'd only dealt fairly with me. Instead, you're not so different to doomed Cassus, overreaching your limits and burning your world to ash. Wrong, wrong, wrong! They will save their world and smash you to smithereens. It's this charming naivety that makes your company such a joy to me, Hope. I'll even forgive this little rebellion once you're suitably chastised. This isn't a rebellion. It's a revolt. I'm revolting! <laughs> then Hope dies today. Hope dies today. Commander. You can salvage a trophy from these insects when I'm done with them. These insects struck me down beneath the Shadowlands. They are worthy opponents. Their skulls will make fine trophies. Actually, I did very little. Just to be clear, I did very little to strike you down, uh, your gear. Very little. Um... Your gear is scared of us. Is there is there the possibility that we might be able to pull off a, persu a persuasion check here? Um, I really, really, really want to talk shit uh, about uh, Raphael's attraction to himself. I hope they will give me a chance. Uh, let's do this last option. Persuasion. Join the winning side. Raphael doesn't stand a chance against me. DC 30. I have advantage and a bonus of 16, of 13 to 16. That won't do it. Even if I get a 16, that won't do it. Okay. You overestimate your abilities. I stand with Raphael. If you have any last words, make it quick. It will only take a moment to finish you. Here's the thing on my head, mostly. I'm a little bit confused about this line right here from Carilla. I permitted you the freedom to decide your own fate. Have I met Carilla before? Is that a dumb question? I'm just a little confused because uh, I have read about Carilla. I don't know. I may have met Carilla before and I just don't remember it. I don't know. I'm not really too focused on it right now. I'm more focused on the, uh, the threat of Raphael. <laughs> Hope dies today. Um... If you kill me, you'll never get the crown. Wrong. I might have to wait another hundred years, maybe a thousand. But my time will come. Your time is over, little mouse. I love Raphael. Now, Holy shit. Down comes the claw. Let's see the transformation. Let's see Raphael. Ah, that's a lot of people. Let's see Raphael as Raphael here. What is this music? Souls go to their dooms in flame forevermore. Shit, I feel like I'm in a uh, Dr. Dre song right now. Let's go. This is so hype. I feel like we're about to come in on the beat. Like, okay. Uh, Raphael. Hell, hell. hell has its laws. Hell, hell. Effect in the cause. I told you it was a rap. Falls, but hold your applause. Squirm, squirm. For now, down here come the claws. What the fuck? Ooh. 
Raphael. Do it to him with a verse two. This game! Your gear. Fools, how hard you have fought. Brave, brave, but it's all been for naught. True souls that couldn't be bought, doomed, detected, and caught. What the fuck? Deals, it's over. The final act, your doom. No more grace, it's over. This house of hope. I was really hoping for a Your Gear feature at the second half of that, right? Like all of a sudden Your Gear comes in like, Raphael dropped the mic. Something, something, something. Oh my God, that was incredible. What the fuck? <laughs> I did not expect that. All right, let's saddle on up to the table. See what we're working with and see what we can get done. Raphael late in the initiative. Marcus early. After that, it's a whole lot of Cambians. Then the rest of us. Krilla has 24 HP. Do I know you? Not that I know of. All right, Raphael has 666 goddamn health. Of course he does. Surrounded by four soul pillars, granting Raphael's attacks an additional four to 48 fire damage uh, and a plus 12 bonus to his dexterity checks and saving throws. Okay. Uh, let's see about the pillars. 99 health. Soul pillar activated. It is resist, uh, sorry, vulnerable to bludgeoning. Good thing we got somebody wearing the Orphic Hammer and also uh, force damage, meaning Gale could take one out uh, with some well-placed magic missiles does it start over do we hear the lyric again your gear is not that tough the fiend could we clean our binding wisdom save wisdom is plus six 20% chance your gear fights for us is that worth it you think Honestly, might be. Well, shit. I can't cutting words it by that much. Very likely. Okay. Well, that's that. What does uh, Raphael have going on? Soul Pillar Proximity. Uh, inevitable Resolve. Uh, which is interesting. You can't, like, do things that would normally last multiple turns. They only last one. Soul Reaper, when Do Raphael reduces... Detected and reduces an enemy's hit points to zero, he severs the soul from their body. He has resistance... To lightning, cold, poison, immune to fire. Shit, fuck. I kind of feel like we should go up in there and get a run. Uh, get a go, get a go at him, I should say. Um, Dog, I have no idea what to do here. Okay.
I feel like hurting him right now is just a you little funny. Fight, friend. I critical hit on that, so never mind. Uh, very cool. Now go a bunch of cambians. Rays of fire. Critical on one of those. Okay, I probably shouldn't have used a uh, Bardic Inspiration. That wasn't worth it. I have to turn the music back down on my head now. And probably in the game, because it's uh, a little loud. Alright, let's see you guys uh, go crazy here. Oh, is this fight going to be harder than the House of, the House of Grief? I feel like it might. I feel like it might. Okay, lots of these rays of fire are missing and they're not doing a lot of damage, it just looks bad. <clears throat> Infernal dagger, I wonder what that was. What that does. Might poison a target. Okay, Marcus has been hit for a lot. Okay. Here we go. We rage. Let's. Uh, Karlak was healed for two hit points because of the uh, her helmet. Okay, I really want to hit one of these uh, pillars, but if you're just going to bring me a bunch of people here... Maybe it makes sense to try killing them. Are these Cambians worth it? What is their fleeting protection? That's the radiant damage thing. Do we try the same method here? Do we globe of invulnerability? I think we ha might have to. 30 damage. Fuck, I whiffed. Raphael gets to take his first turn. I need a 27 to hit. Excuse me. What's his AC? 27 is his AC. That's what it, that's what it means. Punish divinity. What does that mean? Oh, God. You cast incinerate on hope. Okay, um, when hit with radiant damage, Raphael can use a reaction to stun the attacker. No, sorry, Raphael used consume souls, absorb a soul from each soul pillar still standing to spend on powerful spells. Punish divinity is replenished every time that happens, so we really have to fight these pillars. Okay. Should we death ward hope? I feel like we have to try and keep hope alive. Hope is, uh, <clears throat> probably can't be revivified as well. We cast death ward on, uh, on hope. I'm gonna do it. It's a little rough to be spending an entire turn doing that when I probably should have done it before we got in here, but where's Gale at? We'll do a little heal on Gale. I'm going to slip over here. My AC is super high. Come on, Sentinel. And Bulwark re uh, Rebuke. Good stuff. Okay, Gale. Might be time to do Globe of Invulnerability here. If we do, though, Shadowheart... If we do, I'm a little bit dumb for moving Shadowheart right there, right? A rough tempest I will raise. Ah! 
Many and choose a man. Okay. Let's try this. Globe of invulnerabilities up. Step out of the burning. Need to stay focused. Battle heart's done, but technically invulnerable. Marcus is not actually. Doomed, detected, and fought. This. <laughs> the music is insane. Uh, what can I do here? I can call upon divine intervention. Uh, which is super interesting. Guiding bolt. Um, remove curse. <clears throat> Ray of Frost, Mask Cure Wounds. I stand like right here and Mask Cure Wounds. That's Karlak. Marcus is all the way over there, but does this work? I can hit Marcus? And that's five people, yeah? We could already use the HP. Okay, I didn't realize you could mask your wounds. 18 meter distance. Okay, I don't know. Hell yeah. A little extra healing word for Marcus. Because he's all the way out there. Speaking of Marcus. I'm going to want to disengage. Ooh, I'm going to want to... Get back in here without going down. Jesus Christ. Um, here's the other thing I was thinking. If I can get inside here, let's do it. Let's get inside here. No matter how much I get hit, it's probably worth it. As long as I can use an action. Miss your nat 20, please. As long as I can get in here, I can cast a uh, Cloud of Daggers. That should uh, work to do slashing damage every turn. It's not great. It's not great, but we'll get there. All right, I feel like we got to take our healing potions and uh, move them all over. Oh, they're all in Marcus's inventory already. Never mind. I was like, I can never find them in my inventory. Including at this exact moment. Where the hell are they? Oh, right there. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> We're all invulnerable. So we don't need to do anything here. So we can't take damage. Let's do AoE. This is my new favorite trick, by the way, after the House of uh, Grief. Okay, keep going. These cambians are dumb. I think we should get Shadowheart with a, uh, a Guardian of Faith up. And then... Uh, We'll get um, skills focusing, but can still cast magic missile, uh, and we'll take down a pillar or two, and hopefully that will be enough to turn the fight. Yeah, globe of invulnerability, I think, is going to be huge here. Okay. You are not technically invulnerable, and neither are you. So, let's fucking hit you. Unless I should get up there. Hmm. Hmm. Think I can get up there and back down? Seventeen meters of movement. Probably best for me to just work on taking these guys down, right? 
No, because these guys have resistance. So honestly, if I can make it work here, I should. No longer invulnerable here. Let's hit this shit. Because this damage will be doubled. Ooh, I should have gone for a different one with the Cloud of Daggers. Perfect. We're learning. We're learning. I can't jump down, which sucks. Uh, Blood comes Marcus, break days. your concentration. Parlac is just going to have to be out, I think. Unfortunately, out here. Um, now this is my happy place. But you can also move over towards uh, Raphael. Knees high. We get a uh, sentinel or a uh, opportunity attack. <clears throat> Perfect, good hit. Okay, uh, I think we need a guardian of faith, like right out here. Excellent. I think we probably need to heal Gale. Uh. Here's the other thing. We can heal multiple people if we throw potions on the ground. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> We're going to heal Gale at a level one. Take heal, heal. Just for the temp HP, mostly. Cool. Go back inside. Just to make sure you're inside. Gale, can you do like a level four? Maybe a level three? Magic Missile is a D4. Detected and Every time that part gets me. Of the song. Uh, it's a D4 plus one. But it is... Nope, is that right? A D4 plus one. But it is doubled. Um, and if you cast it at a higher level, you create an additional dart. So it's, all, it's max three, right? And it's five... A D4 plus one will average out to be like... Three and a half damage, which is seven. Five times seven is 35. I don't think this is going to be enough. But I feel like I miscalculated that damage somehow because that was a lot of damage. I feel like I was doing some math really wrong there, but it's okay because it worked out. <laughs> So, sure. Cool. Sounds good. We'll stay right there. These pillars are going to be gone. Uh, Witch Bolt on Gale should be a problem here. Um, I'm invulnerable. I mean, it might eventually do something, but not for the next three turns. It does take ten turns, but I can break concentration. <clears throat> okay. So, Hope is going to be a good healer for us. Preserve life. Evoke a healing energy that restores your allies. I can use... I can basically use uh, Hope's uh, divine intervention for free. Like... We don't want to do the radiant damage one, but um, because it's not what I mean by that is it's not like I'll be missing out on it if I don't do it. Sorry, my brain is broken. Like if I did it for Shadowheart, you know, that's the one time I'll ever get to use it with Shadowheart. But I'm guessing Hope is probably this is probably the one fight we have. Um. Okay. I have no idea what to do with you this turn. Uh, you could do a little small heal, uh, healing word, or cure wounds, actually, on Gale. Bring him up closer. Take you. The full? That's probably decent. We'll call that good. Marcus. I think you should cast uh, a cloud of daggers all the way over here. Just let it do its thing for a while. Uh, you can bardic someone. I would say bardic uh, 
Arlac? Cool. This globe is so cool. I'm in love with this uh, globe of invulnerability. Okay, everything misses anyways, so it's fine. Okay, now Karlak is about to be in the line of fire a little bit here. The AI is not very smart. They keep trying to attack people inside of my globe. I never really zoom in like this. Kind of because it's a little hard to see what's happening. But. And it's hard to watch your people get their ass kicked in, in zoom, zoom, you know, in close up. Marcus has been poisoned. Which is really bad because he's a duel. He's a, he's a fencer now. Okay, Carlac, you're all right. Here's the deal. Just get over here. Can you just run through? No surrender. So many opportunity attacks. So many opportunity attacks. That one's from, uh, from Raphael. Okay. That one did half the damage. 50. That'll do it. Hell yeah. Uh, now, technically, I can still jump, right? Jump all the way over here. Good jump. Good jump. That's basically all my movement. Actually, no, it's not. Good turn. Good turn. Raphael, what are you going to do, buddy? Fiendish Ascension? What's that shit? I should quick save before. Oh, my God. Before something bad happens. What the fuck? My dude. Okay, that is beautiful. Oh. <gasps> Ravaging Inferno, spend two souls to hurl an uh, exploding ball of hellfire that damages all nearby objects and creatures. I'm going to not react because I think it will miss. Consuming souls from these things. As long as we get rid of souls, you'll run out of legendary actions eventually, basically. This song is dope. Oh my god, I just realized. Shout out to Jeff and I think Luke. On stream one day, we were talking about the soundtrack to Baldur's Gate 3, and I was like, I always avoid soundtracks of games I'm actively playing because you don't want to get spoiled for stuff, like even looking at titles. I don't know what this song is called. I think Jeff said, yeah, definitely don't listen to any of the songs because uh, I was like, yeah, I guess I could listen to them. You know, it's not like they'd spoil them anything for me. And Jeff was like, absolutely, one of the songs would spoil something for you. <laughs> it's probably this song. To hear Raphael rapping about a... The House of Hope and, uh, anyways. Okay, Shadowheart has Guardian of Faith is not getting any work right now, so that. Detected and uh, Shadowheart is not really doing anything right now. So, got some high level spell slots though. This is what I was thinking. Something like this. A concentration spell with some AOE. Invulnerable. You are not invulnerable. You are invulnerable. All of you all over there. I could do something like this. I don't know. I don't know what to do here. Like that? We're going to absolutely go for it. Concentration saving throw successful. <gasps> Wait, did this say successful? Carilla succeeded at concentration saving throw? Oh, really? That's weird. 
That's pretty fucking weird. Carilla succeeded a concentration set. Really? I don't know about that one, boss. I do not know about that one. Ooh, I just barely can't reach uh Take two. We're gonna heal. Gone with the weave. Alright, Gale. Gale is focusing. However, Gale can also do a little bit of raise a little thing called love. This pillar of souls is almost dead. Do we let Karlak chase it down while Gale does something else? Um, what the fuck is going on over here? With this fiendish shit. It's so dope looking. It's so cool. I am obsessed with the, like, orange underlay. Raphael is gorged on souls, enhanced his fiendish powers, granting him an even deadlier array of spells and abilities. In this form, soul overcharge will not prevent him from using souls to cast spells. It's four charges to spend on stuff. I think I should honestly probably level one this so that we don't have to spend any time over here. That should do it, right? Yep. Cool. Cool. So one pillar left, and Karlak is going to get it. Absolutely. Guardian of Faith has nothing to do yet. I'll bring Karlak back over into the direction soon. Okay, I think we here do a mass healing word. One. No! Oh, cool. That worked. Great. We got heals for days. This guy's resistance to cold. This is a little bit of a bummer. Can I hit it? Marcus is poisoned, but Cloud of Daggers uh, should probably be put to an end here. And I can do that on his turn, actually. Ah! If I could chuck cl cl Cloud of Daggers over here, it would also do some good. However, what I'm really thinking is something like a Shatter or a Wall of Fire. What's your Thunder vulnerability? Lightning resistance, but that's not Thunder. So I think Thunder would do... I think a Shatter right here would hit all of them and not be stopped by any of them. Let's do it at a level four. Save, targets still take half. Raphael saved, shit. 14. Let me check the math on that. Yep, not half. Shatter is fantastic against these guys, especially when they're... And by fantastic, I mean it does decent. It does a little bit of chip damage. Thanks. Uh, okay, we're going to give a Bardic to uh, Hope in the hopes that you stay alive. We're going to quick save in case we need to reload. I hope we don't. This fight is going really well so far. Shout out to Globe of Invulnerability. I just got crit on. But it doesn't hurt. We've killed the pillars, basically. But we really have not done a lot of damage to these Cambians. So there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, se six Cambians still. Plus Raphael, plus your gear. Your gear is looking like the least of my problems right now. Yeah, this all, none of this matters. That matters. I don't know how much longer the globe is lasting. I think it's maybe one more turn. Okay, they hit Karlak. That's fine. All right. Um, 
get up here. Don't hit Cloud of Daggers. I'm gonna break Cloud of Daggers just in case. Okay, let's do it. Okay. That will do it. Hell yeah. So, uh, we're gonna try and get back down to our friends over here ASAP. Um, so I will jump down next turn. My rage comes to an end because I didn't take damage. I was just thinking that. I was just thinking. Okay, this is good. Raphael cast Ravaging uh, Inferno. He's spending spending uh, souls. That does nothing other than kill Guardian of Faith. So that's fair. Igniting Spark. <clears throat> I should probably remember with Marcus that I want to keep at least one spell slot alive for uh, a really important... You know. Okay, globe is gone. Okay, here we go. A really important uh, counter spell. Alright, um What did we just look at with Gale? What was the item we were just looking at? My brain hurts. Um, did it let us cast? Am I crazy right now? I've recorded a lot of Baldur's Gate 3 today. There was an item. Or a scroll? That let you cast something without using a spell slot. Let me recite the demise. And I uh, arcane battery. It's the staff. Hell yeah. Staff spell power, that's right. Okay, we got there. Alleviate the arcane burden of spell casting with the power of the staff. The next spell you cast does not cast a spell slot. So, question. Toggle. Can I cast Globe of Invulnerability? Oh, baby. Trying to make sure uh, Shadowheart is in. But uh, as many of these turds are not in as possible. I think that gets technically all the important ones. Two of them are still invulnerable. Um, Shadowheart is still invulnerable, but okay, cool. Oh, I'm a mid-max and son of a bitch now. I got that spell or that, uh, that staff, I'm chilling. Okay, I remain invulnerable. So, uh, let's chuck a little Guardian of Faith right here. Cool. We'll try that. Uh, I'm going to have Hope heal. Technically, Hope's turn right now. Perfect. I'm going to heal Karlak a little bit with hope. And then also... Uh... Okay, he's not Ascended Fiend for much, lo much longer. <clears throat> uh, okay. Sorry, I'm just sitting here trying to think. We probably don't want a Guiding Bolt because Guiding Bolt is Radiant and we have to uh, avoid Radiant damage right now. So. We may be left doing a little uh, Ray of Frost. These guys are... Is is uh, Raphael 
also resistant to cold? Yes. These guys are as well, yeah? I don't know that uh, your gear is, though. Did your gear go down, by the way? Wait a second. Fuck is your gear? Invisible! Oh! I saw that he was revealed earlier. I think he's right here, but okay, never mind. Um sorry. Let's just do one of these. Let's just do one of those. Six damage, cool. Uh good turn for you. Shadowheart uh has the blades up, uh has uh already done something else. Let's see if we can move in a little bit more here. Okay, I am no longer poisoned. Uh, I'm going to try and keep some high-level spell slots. Which means that I really can't do a lot here. I can do Vicious Mockery. Can, you guys, can these guys take uh, Psychic Damage? They can. Detected and what exactly does he say there? Doomed, detected, and flawed? Like C-L-A-W-E-D. Doomed, detected, and I don't know. Let's try viciously mock viciously mocking Raphael just for the hell of it. For you, oh horned cheek. Oh horned cheek. He's not affected. Cool. I'm not very scary. Um uh, you're not invulnerable, right? Okay, cool. We'll just hit you do for a bunch. That's a better use of my time. Globe of invulnerability. This shit's crazy. Okay, Guardian of Faith has always been a bad decision here because of the effect, fact that it deals radiant damage. I should have thought of this. We should just do Spirit uh, Guardians with Necrotic. That's way smarter. All right. Man, this fight is kind of boring underneath the globe of invulnerability. Holy shit. It's okay. Raphael still has 597 HP. And your gear's invincible. I'm not actually bored. I'm mostly scared for the future. Okay. We got to figure out a way to, like, really make some things happen here. We got to do some AoE, some something, you know? Okay, there's your gear. Back to invisible. The real problem here is how many of them also get invulnerable uh, invulnerable from this. Uh, we still have one rage charge. There's that. Um, so do I get back in the shit here or do I... I think I probably do, right? That was my bonus action. Shit. I'm going to need healed. I'm going to need healed. Oh, I missed. No, how did you miss? You're invulnerable. I thought you weren't. No, that was such a wasted turn. Okay, he's no longer an Ascended Fiend, which is good. Just a normal feat. <laughs> All right. Do I Spirit Guardian's necrotic damage? That seems like the smartest play, right? I'm currently doing this blade barrier too, and they're not they're not really. That's not really hitting. might be smarter than this big level six barrier. 
Okay, we're gonna do it. I love Spirit Guardians. Let's cast Necrotic. Did it not happen? Wait, what's going on? What should I do? I just cast it, but something it's not happening. I'm a little bit confused. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to use a bonus action for Shadowheart because I don't have that many. Gale? Hmm. Okay, let's think, let's think this through. Hope first is going to heal um, Karlak. Fourth level healing word, which still does not do nearly enough damage. But does that. Uh, I really don't want to do all this radiant damage. I'm so confused what just happened with Karlak. I feel like her turn bugged out. Like, she doesn't have Spirit Guardians up, even though it definitely said she cast it. I don't know. Um, they burn. All right, what can Gale do? We can conjure a minor elemental to get somebody else to fight here. Um, I'm really thinking in a turn left, uh, Raphael will just be a, a husk of himself. He will not have any... Uh, soul charges left very soon. Hopefully. Do I conjure a minor elemental? Bludgeoning and fire damage. And these guys are immune to both, or resistant to both. Mud damage. Or mud method uh, does some sort of damage. I don't know. Thing is, I like. Detected and I like the Azer a little bit. I'll do the Azer. We're gonna put a target out here. Okay. You're invulnerable. You guys have all scooched in just a little bit, which is such a problem. don't have a ton of spell slots left and I'm starting to get a little nervous here. Um, what can I do to AOE these sons of bitches? Doing Everett's Black Tentacles again. We liked Shatter, but right now there's only a couple here. Um, let's try this. Push is a bonus action, right? 15% chance to work. Imagine it worked, though. Oh, I forgot I have good bonus actions now. I shouldn't have done that. I have actual good bonus actions, says Marcus now. Like, with our blade. That doesn't matter. I shouldn't have attacked there. Okay. Honestly, Globe of Invulnerability has made this fight long, but I don't know that it's made it good. Like, I don't know that our position has improved over the last five turns. We'll see. We'll see. Infernal Dagger? I will roll a... 
cutting words on that. You gotta see this motherfucking in your gear. Okay. Um, I can rage now, or hear me out. I can also celestial haste. Which I think I'm gonna do. Now we should have a chance to start moving, uh, start moving things the right way. I can't rage, because that will break concentration on Celestial Haste. I'm gonna, however, I'm going to drink one of these potions, myself 97 HP, and I'm going to ask you guys to fight me a little bit. <clears throat> You're suffering this okay. Ends now. I don't know exactly how this works. I think that is the end of his soul charges. So, as long as this doesn't kill Karlak, we're okay. Should I counterspell it? It's level six, so I'd have to roll no matter what, so I'm not going to. Because it would only... It would only hit Karlak and break her concentration, which is exactly what it did. Karlak is very close to dead. Should I try... I'll counterspell it. Are, like so close to death. But it's our turn now. We're no longer invulnerable. The real fight starts right now. Buckle up. This is going to be a long episode. And I love it. All right. Azer, you want to do something? I don't know. Do something nice? Be good? Attack someone? You hit somebody here? 40% chance to hit anybody? Come on. Fire, fire damage ain't going to do anything. Possibly days your target could be huge though. Let's try. Okay, nothing. Uh, fire damage. Cool. Two, da two damage. Sentinel. Good stuff. Cool. That's Azer's turn. Uh, Shadowheart, you need to heal fucking Karlak or something. You have three spell slots left. Hope could probably do it. Maybe, but to get there would be a pain in the ass. Preserve life. We haven't tried it yet, but uh, I believe you have two charges of Channel Divinity. Let's do it. It's an action. 30 to everybody when we didn't really need it other than uh, Karlak and the Azer, but um, we're going to Healing Word for a third slot. Third level slot. Karlak. It's such a bad use of spells, but spell slots, but we're on a ticking clock here. We got to keep Karlak up. Um, okay, so now that you are in this, we should probably try and get you to move out of the fire, the hell fire. That's gonna mean some opportunity attacks. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, you made it. Good. Okay. Um, Shadow Heart. I'm so bummed about her spell that didn't work. I don't know what I've, I don't know what happened. Five hundred and ninety-seven HP, and we got no we got no spell slots left. Okay. Um. Doomed, detected, and fought. Doomed, detected, and what? I don't know what he's saying, and it's gonna make me lose my mind. Feel free to tell me down below in the comments. Doomed, detected, and what? Uh, Artistry of War could be a cool spell to do right now. We need to get out of here a little bit. Hmm. 
Hmm. Thunder damage is nice. This could be really good, actually. I know it's so simple, but there's so many enemies here. We're just gonna go for it. So many people there. Um. Okay. Don't know that that was worth. It. Son of a bitch. Shove attack just for fun. You gotta try it, right? Successful athletics attack. Cool. Okay, Gale, get out of there. Step out of the fire. Now, Gale has some slots left. I wonder if this would douse... Uh, I wonder if this would douse the fire of the Hellfire as well. Is the Hellfire really a problem? What I really want to do right now is fucking uh, Chain Lightning, but they're, I'm pretty sure at least Raphael and I think the rest of them are uh, resistant to lightning. I think they might be immune to poison, resistant to poison. I cast haste on uh, Karlak. I just am w asking for a left, uh, uh, my concentration to be broken. Okay, uh, let's do this. We gotta, we gotta start focusing here. There's so many vengeful cambians that I'm getting a little bit scared. We need to focus one, and uh, and get as few people on the field as possible. Uh, uh, as many people off the field as possible. Okay. Uh, currently, your gear is still up. Let's try Sleet Storm here. It's crazy. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. That hits uh, Raphael as well. Hellfire still burns on Sleet Storm. That's fun. Good stuff. All right, cool. Um, did I bonus action Misty Step out? I think I might. It's okay. Uh, so. Hellfire is really bad, and we need to get out of it. And I do not know how to do this right now. Um, it's one opportunity attack from one Cambion, I'm pretty sure. I think it's this one. Mental Fatigue, I don't remember what it does again. Minus one. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Let's see if we can kill this guy. One attack. Two attack. Okay, no. Let's get out. Let me get opportunity attacks here. Alright, we're out of the Hellfire. So got Hellfire as a condition for one more turn. Oh, this is where things are gonna go bad. We have not managed to make enough action economy difference yet. We have some really low cambians, but... Okay. If we can kill both of them, that would be fantastic. Okay. Good job, Gale. Karlak is close to death here. Okay. Oh, that's two different nat 20s on Marcus right now. Down to 36 HP. Carla, can you even get out of there, honestly? Honest question. Haste is broken, so we have to rage now. 
Okay, I've got one right here, 44 HP. One right here, 51. Okay. Can we please kill this guy? Not gonna kill him. Okay, we can get out of the fire. Yep. Oh, Carlax got 10 HP. I need to keep moving, but I don't know that I can. Oh, I gotta stay. But if I stay, I go down. I have to. I have to take a risk. Oh, baby, we're alive. Okay. Detected. And. Okay, the hellfire is gone. That's nice. Um. Oh God! One of these champions has to be so close to death, right? <laughs> okay, hit one, please, please kill it, please kill it. Forty percent, high da high high chance of damage uh, uh, of uh. I see. Let's change the hit. Okay, that's the answer's turn. All right, let's think this through. God, we've just barely hit him. I don't know if we have the sheer heals to do this. Either way. I already get to here and preserve life again. Does that hit everybody? It doesn't hit Gale. To hit Gale now? No. Hit Gale now? Yes. Hits every single party member. Oh my god, Hope, you are truly the thing with feathers. Can I also mass healing word? Same players. Third level spell slot. I think it's my last one. Is it worth it right this second or no? I don't know that it is. First level spell slot on Karlak. 10 HP. Okay, Shadowheart. Creator. Oh. I think I need to stop this uh, spell now, Sleep Storm. I don't think it's doing anything. If I do that, can't give up. can I no. get uh, myself, Spirit Guardians, Necrotic? Please work. And I'm going to quick save beforehand to see what's going on. If this doesn't, if this for some reason randomly doesn't work, it's my last third level spell slot. That time it worked. Hell yeah. Everybody's weak. Okay. Do I have any, uh... Protective shell envelops you. It reflects back any projectiles. I'm going to try that. My reflective shell class action. Oh, I wonder if that's a uh, elithid thing. I'm pretty sure it's this. Yeah, it's my... It's my um... Shield. Okay. Shadow Heart's turn. Gale, what can you do in terms of damage here? If you can do it right now, Gale, honestly, I think you should. Fourth level, magic missile. One, two, one. One, two, three. Does that kill three people? It kills, oh, one HP and 12 HP. It kills one and gets two more even close to fucking dying. I was like, we're so close to having a, a board that looks a lot better for us right now. This one over here is not actually dead, just prone. Oh, damn it. I didn't even know that. All right, Marcus, your turn to kill one. Let's think through your turn first, though, because you can also bonus action hit this guy. Um, you could probably bonus action heal, which I think would make a lot of sense. But we don't have that many potions. 
We really don't have that many potions. So should I have Shadowheart do it? The heals once it's time. Get false life. Um. Oh my god, we have all of these uh, arrows we really should have been using. Double damage to dragons? Why didn't we ever use this against Onsur? This is what we should be doing. Uh, humanoid? I don't know. Does that count? Aberration? Are you in a... Hey, Mr. Raphael? Hey, Mr... Is a, is a fiend an aberration? Ugh, oh, buddy, that's a lot of HP. All right. Let's think this through because I need to be smart about how I use my uh, my action economy here. Technically, we could kill both of these pretty easily, but I wouldn't get to heal myself. Is that okay? And will I make it back to my turn if I do? Because there's six people, seven, six people, and Raphael before I can get healed. I think I have to heal. I have to action attack. You're dead. Okay. I think I stay right here for now, right? Okay. Vengeful Cambion casts Ray of Fire. I think I don't counterspell this. Luckily, it was a lot of misses on Karlak. Lots of misses there. I don't know what's, what's going on exactly. Okay. Azer is missed. Azer either did damage or took damage there. I can't tell. Yurguri is here. Okay. Azer's doing damage. We're missing Shadowheart. Shadow Heart, you're a genius. Karlak is so weak here. Okay, that's our last big potion. However, Karlak is still standing, still raging, and as long as we do some damage here. Good. Now, who next? Who next? Who next? I think it's you. Perfect. You're dead too. Okay. 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 The action economy starts to turn in our favor. Two Cambians, Ergier and Raphael. I think this one I counterspell. Because as soon as you're out of your fiendish uh, move, right? How long? How long? I don't remember how. I don't know how long he can stay in this form for. <laughs> Maybe forever. I'm not sure. I hope not. Okay. Okay, let's see here. Shadowheart has Spirit Guardians up. Gale has a fifth level spell. All right. What to do here? What to do here? I always forget about this once per short rest. I can do the uh, this shit as a uh... bonus action. Um, Raphael is not affected. It doesn't have anything against necrotic, so I will probably end up bonus action bone chilling. 
Uh, Azer can go first because your stuff is very easy. You have a, like, basically 0% chance to hit, uh, to hit, uh, Raphael. You can overheat here to do some damage. A couple. Then try backbreaker on this one. Good stuff. You hit for two damage. Good stuff. Okay, Shadow Heart. Uh,. I don't know. The Shadow Heart's weapon do radiant damage. It does not. That's nice. I would really like to try. Ooh, I would really like to try with Gale making sure Urgear goes down. Level 2 magic missile? Urgear doesn't have the same... Uh, Resistances. I'm going to level one Witch Bolt uh, Urgear. Because at the very least, I can do it every term, every time. I'm also going to toggle a... Uh, bone Chill uh, at... I don't know, fucking, I guess, at this Cambion. 24 damage, good stuff. You are a legend, Gale. I'm starting to appreciate Gale a lot more. And Shadowheart, I still don't know what to do with you. Um, Urgear's completely immune to fire. Nothing about Radiant on him, though. Only a 25% chance to hit with Sacred Flame, though. Okay, I think I might just have to attack this one right here. They have eight health. I whiffed. Oh, I probably should have done Invoke Duplicity. That's what I should have done. Okay. Hope. What would you like to do here, Hope? You got a level four spell slot to cure wounds on Karlak. If I can get you there, go for it. Karlak's almost full HP now. That's huge. Get out of here. All right, Marcus, her gear right in front of you. That's fine. Um, I was thinking more of the sort of uh... God, this song is so good. Bleeding will do two slashing damage at every turn against uh, Raphael. If we use bleeding, we'll kill him in 299 turns. I was sort of thinking, get out of here and go attack Raphael. Is this crazy? Let's go do this. Get out of here. Opportunity attack. That's fine. Let's do it. Hit. Perfect hit. Bonus action. Uh, let's hit you. Raphael? Fuck off. How about that? How about Raphael? You fuck off. Now you're taking damage, huh? All right, let's do this thing. Infernal Dagger does do po it does a lot of damage. We'll reroll that. Piece. Okay, it's still hit. Okay, still hitting, still hitting. Turn our damage on. Detected at God, this song is. Are you not dead? I thought for sure you'd be dead after that. Didn't know how much HP you had. I just took 21 rolling, running through that fucking fire right there. Fuck me sideways. Look at his tail. Oh my god. Raphael, you're a little bit of a hottie. You know that? Multi attack. Okay. That's all right. Do the melee game thing with us. I dare you. We have more actions than you do. Um, I was really hoping... Uh, I, I, I cast Witch Bolt on your gear so that I could uh, keep hitting him if he was invisible. Uh, is why I did that. I don't know if I ever explained that. Let's do Invoke Duplicity right here. Oh, that breaks concentration, doesn't it? Fuck me, sideways. It's Channel Divinity. Why? 
I always forget that it breaks concentration. Damn it. I'm, I'm going to learn eventually. Okay, uh, let's do our Witch Bolt. Cool. I can't do a uh, bonus action anything else, but Urgear is very close to death, and Gale is the safe one who's staying out of the fight here. Um, hit him. Four damage. Okay. Let's see here. Does he still have Punish Divinity? He still does. Um, but he's only going to be able to do it once because of the Soul Pillar thing. So I kind of feel like maybe we should get one piece of Radiant damage in. Maybe I'll have Shadowheart do it. The problem is it says it will leave the person stunned, and that makes me nervous. Um, he's got pretty high, high defense here. Okay, we missed. Uh, a little bit of... I think I'm going to hold off on healing this turn. It's crazy but I'm gonna try and maximize my healing later. Urgear's very close to death. Uh, let's hit him. While we have to both duplicity up, let's get the damage. Okay. I think at this point, it's just a matter, it's just gonna take a little bit. Like we're just gonna have to get, get through some turns here. I don't think it's particularly losable right now, but it might be. Sure might be. All right, he gets knocked on his ass. Now we're about to the point where we could really use a heal. Rear has 18 HP. 468 here. Okay. Our legs going crazy. Um Carlax doing 27 bludgeoning damage, by the way. Is that right? Yeah, it is. Holy shit. I was thinking that was uh, that was seeming really high, but that seems good. That seems right. Okay. As long as Raphael doesn't kill us this turn, then we can heal with uh, Hope. Okay, Hope. Let's do a... Uh, I don't have a channel divinity left. Let's do a... Uh, A cure wounds at a second level on Carlac. Okay. And then a mass healing word as well. And then I can't move away because I'm going to get uh, <laughs> opportunity attacked. Okay, uh... We'll do moon modes. Moon mode seems good. Everybody will do... Oh, that's gonna deal radiant damage. Oh, buddy, okay. That's fine now, actually. Because now we'll have... No! Okay. This is very important what I click right now. I'm not going to click Sentinel because right now everyone should do radiant damage if they hit. And if I, my goal is to have the Azer hit if possible and do the radiant damage because Raphael has punished divinity. If you could hit, that would be fantastic. Come on, motherfucker. Uh, okay. You missed. So now we need the next person to hit needs to be. <laughs> Ready. We could try doing it with Shadowheart. It might be a little rough, but. Oh, I can't do it with Shadowheart. I don't have any uh, actions left. Okay. 
Dale will do a Witch Pull, which puts him closer to death, but not quite there. Marcus will do Radiant Damage right now if he attacks. Let's try it. Punish Divinity. We saved against it. Incredible. He no longer has the ability. That's good. We're, we're stripping it down layer by layer here. We should probably just kill him here. While he's prone. Use the... Uh... Your gear falls. 07s. Okay. It's us v. Raphael. And at this point, we're doing it. Two hits. <laughs> Raphael. Suck my wiener. Uh, <laughs> sorry, listen, listen. I'm just happy. I feel like we've really, I feel like this has been a victory a long time coming and Raphael has hurt a lot of people and it's neat to get to try and. Shadowheart can do so little right now. <laughs> I will use one of my heals on Karlak just to keep her up. Second level health uh, spell slot. Okay, now we get to start going crazy. Fifth level. Got 349. Fifth level uh, magic missile. It's not a lot, but it's like 50 damage. So, good enough for me. Uh, Azer, you're helping, I promise. I promise. Uh, step away. I would say at this point, stay alive. No, you can Guiding Bolt now. Radiant damage is fine now. Doomed. Detected. Okay. We're stacking up the damage. The House of Hope has been the coolest little, like, in a game full of cool little side locations, like the Iron Throne, like the entire sewer system, in an act full of really cool side locations. Moonrise Towers was a sweet location. I'm sure there were some in Act 1 that I'm not even thinking about right now. All of Auntie Ethel's stuff. The House of Hope has been one of the dopest. One of the coolest. Uh, things. Like, it's just, it's neat to see, I don't know. I. It's neat to see, uh, let's with Sacred Flame. Can I step away? I cannot step away. Okay. Allow me to demonstrate. It's really neat to see, uh, what, like, Raphael in his element. After the promise so early on of Raphael as a uh, as a force to be reckoned with, now we now we're reckoning with the force, right? Now is the is the time we see what exactly it is. Oh, I just I should have at least fired a ranged attack there. Um, okay. Uh, let's do this. Moon Motes is really, uh, is really helping us out here. Underneath 200 HP. That's good. Mmm, <laughs> that one hit Karlak -like a decent amount. That's why we're saving Hope's, uh... why we're saving Sorcery. Hope's attack. Sorcery. Okay, we'll Bone Chill. Cool. Need to stay focused. Um, Azer, take a swing. Honestly, here's my thought, Azer. Use the reaction. Die. We'll use Sentinel. Fuck. And now I can move Shadowheart away. Uh, and she can do Sacred Flame from a distance, which I'm sure is better. Save. That's all right.
Uh, I should probably mass healing word now. Cool. One spell slot left. How the fuck do we do this, man? Very clear. 10 damage. Oh, baby. 115 L. At this point, it's all, uh, it's all over. It's been over for a while, but. Oh, Raphael. What do you have to say for yourself? I wonder if we can actually kill him. Or if, like, like if he will actually die, is what I mean. Um, 14 damage. Uh, little bone chill. God, I'm going to want to listen to this. I know I've been listening to this song for an hour. I'm going to want to listen to it as soon as I'm done recording, too. Azer, if you get the final kill... No, you're not going to. Try it, though. <laughs> this Azer hasn't been doing shit this whole time. All right, Marcus. Do we want Marcus to do it? I think we want Marcus to do it. This is the moment. Raphael, you sleek son of a bitch. You've impressed me from the very start. But there ain't enough room in this town for the both of us. It's absolutely preposterous that any of us are alive. No, we were not. Pinch yourself and check we're not dreaming the rest <laughs> of our lives as we die screaming. I just failed a constitution save. Hold up, two seconds. Uh, I'm going to pinch myself. <laughs> you are wide awake, and Raphael truly is defeated. Incredible as it seems, we really did defeat Raphael. That is incredible. We're incredible. We're spectacular. What a wonderful, jubilant, glorious day. Huh. But my poor sister, Carilla. Yeah, did I meet her before, it's or? Not right that she died, and that makes me want to weep an ocean. Honest, honest question. Uh, have I met Carilla before? If not, that's okay. Don't tell me anything about her. But if I have met her before, feel free to remind me. I don't remember meeting her. Um. But I could very well be forgetting. She made her choice when she sided with Raphael in the first place. She was an entire person before she ever made that choice. When we were children, she always kept the last piece of pastry for me and bloodied the nose of the bullies who pulled my hair. She was my sister. But as a wise woman once said, there's no point in crying over spilt blood. We must go on. Over spilled blood. And despite all the years I've lost, I have enough love in my heart to guide you home. For the first time since you heard her voice, hope seems calm, and the peace flows from her into you, soothing your very soul. Where will you go now that you're free? Nowhere but here. I don't quite think I know where anywhere else is anymore. With a lick of paint and a thorough cleaning, this could be a lovely little house. It's always been your house. And I can hardly leave. After all, who would ever want to think of hell without hope? That's wild. I hope I'll see Carilla again one day and that she'll say sorry and I'll tell her she's forgiven. I hope I find all the pieces of my mind that <laughs> fell out of my head over all those years and that I'll be able to put myself back together again. I hope the echoes of pain will fade and memories of sorrow will die Aww. and that you'll visit me here someday and I hope you have Aww. a happy ending of your own 
I hope the echoes of pain will fade. I need to reread that. Oh, that was a great dialogue line. Hope is finally free. She plans to give true meaning to the name House of Hope. I receive gloves of soul catching. <clears throat> Unarmed attacks deal an additional 1 to 10 force damage. Uh, once per turn on an unarmed hit, you regain 10 hit points. Alternatively, you may forgo healing. Jesus Christ. Constitution up to, to 20. Holy cow. For a monk, that would be huge. Or somebody else who deals one unarmed attacks. I hope the echoes of pain will fade and memories of sorrow will die and that you'll visit me here someday. And I hope you have a happy ending of your own. Oh, lordy. The Orphic Hammer is ours, and it nearly killed us to get there. We can take the Orphic Hammer to, or uh, to Kithrak Voss. Yeah. I can't wait to see what the Emperor has to say with all this. Holy cow. All right, um, before we call it a day, I think what I'm going to do is actually um, spend some time running around and looting. Um, I think I will... Uh, well, this episode has been long, but at this point, why not keep it a little long, you know? Um, why not keep it a little long? I can't wait to see what Raphael's items are. We're completely out of heals. We're going into the end game. I'm getting scared. We're going into the end game of this uh, of this game, and we're completely out of heals. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Uh, it's starting to scare me a little bit. I don't know that I need this Moonlight Clave anymore. Um, we'll give that over to Carlac to sell. Car and Crossbow can go to Carlac to sell. Um... Let's see here. We have a diamond that can go to Karlak. Um, why do none of us have our clothes on? Oh, because we took them off when we became the people. I understand. Okay. We took them off when we became uh, the, uh, the people. You know. Um... When we, uh, when we became debtors. Sorry. At this point, my brain is broken. I've recorded a lot of Baldur's Gate 3 today, and you're watching uh, a person who has probably spent a little bit too much time on camera today. Um, but let's get things cleaned up a little bit here. And some stuff to Carlac. We'll loot Raphael, uh, but let's loot uh, your gear for... I already did. Never mind. Vengeful Cambion. I don't know that I need any of this loot, but. Uh, all the Carlac. Carilla, it looks like it would be stealing if we touched her body, so. I may not do that. It always amazes me when you pull off a fight like that, you know? Uh, let's loot Raphael's body. That also said stealing, but... Um... 180 gold. Valor Ale. Hellishly strong. Even sipping a little froth of this ale is enough to make a good gelatinous cube disgorge whatever it has jellified. Cry a bit and go home to its wife, hoping she'll forgive it. Raphael's Diary! Helldusk Armor. Considered pr proficient with this armor while using it. Uh, when you succeed a saving throw... Cast receives burning for three turns. You have resistance to fire damage, cannot be burned. You take three less damage from all sources. I mean, uh, AC up to 21 is crazy. Is there any way it looks good on Marcus? No. The answer is no. It looks fucking terrible. Nope. Nah, it looks better, Marcus, but we'll put your armor back on. Um, no, I don't think we can. It looks very weird. Uh, 
I think we're going to send that to camp. Raphael's Diary, Chapter 1. <clears throat> a chapter from a diary penned in Raphael's Sybaritic hand. Now, hold on just a minute. What does that word mean? Pond of sensuous luxury or pleasure. Sensuous luxury or pleasure. Self-indulgent. I did not know that word before right now, and I love it. While I have, over many a sumptuous season, cast the net of my contractual predilections both far and wide, never have I been so attracted to mortals as I am to those infested by the tadpole. Raphael, why are you so obsessed with me, homie? These particular fish find themselves plashing towards their doom, toward a steel hook unblemished by bait. How they resist the current, how inexorable its whelm, its tug, its dark undertow. At the other end of the fishing pole, the elithid. How their tentacles must quiver like cooled jelly at the prospect of more catches. More and more each day along the troubled riverbank. This process has a name I sample now aloud to savor its taste. Theramorphosis. I shall make crafty use of this development. For with the hook glinting and death so close, what could loom larger in the stricken fish's mind? than the prospect of rescue. Chapter two. Last night I dreamt of a river. Waist deep, I waded in it. Hook, uh, rusted hooks curled up from the water like the snaggled teeth of something ancient and diseased and submerged. The moon over the water cracked and fire flew out on the stubby wings of gormless, insanely chirping chicks. They transformed into wriggling oblongs like sperm. Yet by the time they hit the water, they were fish with scales of orange and gold. There came a rushing sound. The dark water. Sorry, guys. The dark water ablaze as if the fish were matches and the river a snake of oil. Approaching me out of the flames came the tadpole infested. There was one among them who spoke for the rest. They gestured to the melting hooks, suddenly glanced my way, and in their face I saw they had the best of me. In waking, my courage has firmed. I've progressed my plans for the tadpole even now. I am Raphael. I am not easily bested. Final chapter from a diary penned in Raphael's hand. Here and there, his composed hand stiffens and moves erratically, as if he were by times seized by emotion, both powerful and unexpected. The plot thickens, goes the aphorism, entirely inadequate. The plot mutates. It fluctuates. I have conceived no less than 13 variations by which I might seize the crown of Carsus. Yet in the, tum uh, in the tumult of this eternally flowing river of schemes, I, the most careful of fishermen, finds his catch elusive and difficult to wrangle. Even in cooperation, such ambiguity and delicious surprise. But the hook has snagged. The doom of Ceramorphosis has abated. Yet they could not predict, could they, could they, that in leaving behind the river, they have, in fact, welcomed the fishbowl. I am master here, a prince of bargains, cloaked in cunning, like scarlet satin. All that hidden under sublimely obvious truths cannot be discounted. So the fisherman reels, the tadpoled are my catch, struggle as they might, writhe as they wish, flop and squirm and thresh with every ounce of strength, no matter. By all the reeking flames of hell, I will not be denied. Oh, Raphael, you silly little goose. Moving ahead. Wonder if Hope is still here. Hope's still here. Something to ask. Uh, are you still here, o or are you but a dream? Still here. Okay. I think that's a uh, au revoir to uh, the House of Hope. Uh, and an au revoir to this episode. Holy cow. I'm doing my best to uh, keep the episodes coming every day and to make them... I, I love approaching the end of a game. Not that we're that close necessarily, but I love we're, we're closer than ever before. 
Not that tomorrow will be the last episode. I love the end, though, because I do my damnedest to give it my all. Like, to come as prepared and as attentive and as, you know, as ready as possible for whatever the game is going to throw at me. And sometimes that means an hour and 40 minute episodes. If you're still watching this far in, comment down below with a red heart uh for Raphael um red for Raphael what a character I'm spent I'm utterly spent I need to call it a day and I'm gonna go rest for a little bit before we come back and uh keep marching on I can't wait to see where this game will take us thank you so much for hanging out I hope you enjoyed oh I want to go back and listen to the song again I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you tomorrow for another episode. Until then, have a great rest of your day and much love from me to you. Bye-bye.